Hello guys, and my valued viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hopefully you are all fine like before. Big news for Dinar just dropped. I always try my best to provide you the updated information. So this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi Dinar news. Hit subscribe to stay informed and comment below. The Parliamentary Finance Committee, led by Atwan al Atwani, confirmed that Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani is genuinely committed to boosting Iraq's non-oil revenues. This commitment comes from the understanding that relying too heavily on oil, which is unpredictable due to fluctuating global demand and supply, is risky for the country's financial stability. al Atwani emphasized that oil-based revenues are unstable, and Iraq needs to diversify its income sources to ensure a more reliable and sustainable economic future. The committee, in recognizing this, has adopted the goal of increasing non-oil revenues as a vital step forward. They believe it is essential for the country to move beyond its dependence on oil, which, while valuable, cannot alone sustain long-term development. An essential part of this strategy involves the shift towards electronic payment systems. Currently, many transactions, particularly within the tax system, are handled through outdated paper processes which Al-20 points out are susceptible to corruption. By embracing electronic payments, the government hopes to create a more transparent and efficient system for collecting revenues. This move is seen as a significant part of the broader effort to reduce the opportunities for corruption that plague paper-based systems. By using technology to streamline the payment process, they aim to make tax collection more straightforward and fairer. In addition, the Finance Committee is also considering ways to reduce the burden on taxpayers as part of the transition to electronic payment methods. al Atwani mentioned that lowering fees for electronic payments could encourage citizens to adopt the system. By making electronic payment more appealing and accessible, the government hopes to motivate more people to use it, easing the process of paying taxes and other dues. This shift is not just limited to government payments, though. Al Atwani underlined the importance of involving the private sector in this transition. The idea is that it would not make sense for people to pay their taxes electronically while continuing to use cash for most other transactions, such as shopping in malls or markets. To make the electronic payment system fully effective, the private sector also needs to be equipped with the necessary devices to accept electronic payments. Ultimately, the goal is to integrate electronic payments into all parts of daily life, both in government and private sectors, to modernize Iraq's economy, reduce corruption, and increase the efficiency of revenue collection. This approach reflects the broader vision of building a more sustainable and resilient economy, one that is not overly dependent on the volatile oil market, but is instead supported by multiple streams of income, all managed with the help of modern, transparent technologies.